I've had some questions about how I use seaweed in the garden, so I thought today I would do a video on three ways to use seaweed in your garden. Seaweed is loaded with minerals. It's hanging in the ocean. It's picking up all those ocean minerals. So when you take some seaweed, and you incorporate it into your garden, you are bringing all those minerals and you're putting them back into the soil. And remember, a lot of soils have been leached over time and the minerals go downstream, they end up back in the ocean. The ocean is just filled with minerals. So by using seaweed in your garden, you're bringing minerals back. That's good for your health, it's good for the soil, it's good for your plants, it's just good all around. So that's why you wanna use seaweed in your garden. Method number one. You could take the seaweed, you can rinse it out, and you could use it for mulch right around your perennials, right around your garden beds. As it breaks down, it will be incorporated into the soil and it will feed the garden. It works well for mulch. I've actually used seaweed without rinsing it out on tomato plants and there was enough rainfall that the tomatoes did not even get burned. And remember, tomatoes have a little bit of a nice salty flavor to them. You can actually improve the flavor of tomatoes by having some salt in the soil. So that seaweed on your tomatoes is gonna to make for better flavored tomatoes. And no, they're not gonna taste like fish, they're not gonna taste like the ocean, they're gonna taste like really good tomatoes. So method number one is mulching. Method number two, put seaweed directly into your compost pile. Forget the garden beds, go for the compost. If you have extra seaweed laying around on the beach, like we have huge banks of it here, Go get some of it, throw it into your compost pile. Use it as a green layer in the compost. Or if it's dry, use it as a brown layer. Or just throw it in, it doesn't really matter. Don't overthink the carbon nitrogen thing. Throw it into your compost pile. The microorganisms, the bacteria and the fungi will incorporate it into the rest of the compost. And as you turn, it'll become part of it. And all those minerals of the ocean will be put into your compost. You will have richer, better compost for your garden than if you just use materials around your own yard. Because I'll bet you the minerals in your own yard are not as rich as the minerals in the ocean. Think sea salt. Why do people want that Himalayan pink salt? Well, they want it for the minerals, right? And it looks cool. Incorporate it into your compost pile. You're putting the salt and the minerals into the compost. I don't bother rinsing it out. By the time it turns into compost, it's not that salty and a little bit of sodium again is good for the flavor of your vegetables and for your garden. Method number three, turn the seaweed into liquid fertilizer. If your plants need a quick pick-me-up, you can take some seaweed, you can put it in the blender, blend it up and water your plants with it. Just thin it out. You don't want it to be too salty. You want to take maybe 10 parts water, one part seaweed water and just start watering with it. The minerals will go in quickly. The plants will use that quickly. You can also take the seaweed, put it in a big bucket with some fresh water and let it rot for a few months and then thin that out and use it as a basically a compost or seaweed tea over time to feed the plants. So right there, there are three ways you can use seaweed in your garden and trust me, it's worth it. It makes for beautiful plants and it makes for tasty plants and minerals. Did I mention minerals? Yeah, minerals. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com where I post every single day of the week. Check out my book, Compost Everything, on Amazon. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. You can compost everything from lettuce to cinnamon rolls, but seaweed's the peak because it's loaded up with minerals. Go down to the shore and get yourself a fat bag from the bounty of the ocean, but I don't mean to nag. I want to see the good stuff all up in your soil. Compost so hot, it set your pile on boil. Of course, it could be really hot, like Fukushima. So if you're on the left coast, the pickings might be leaner. Far as I know, the react is still leaking some glowing little bits of strontium and cesium. I know someone will bring it up in my comments. Consider this rap conspiratorial. Dominance. But Atlantic side, I know I wouldn't pass them. When I see my piles of fresh goods, I got some. But seriously, if I'm gonna get specific, I might skip out if my choice was the Pacific. Peace. Long life. Watch your thyroid. Give a kiss to your wife from me. Davey G, the MC of Compost.